Master there, Kevin. Kevin fancies himself a comedian, you know? I know, right? That's weird. Um, Kevin is to comedy what Casey Anthony is to motherhood. Cross <laughs> people, come on. <laughs> Solo again tonight, Kev. Chris Hansen just keeps fucking up your chances. <laughs> Sweet tea and cookies are on the table. Come on in. He's like, all he hears is, oh, go ahead and have a seat. <laughs> so you may be wondering why I'm dressed like this. Well, I was told that in order to make fun of certain groups, you have to be a member of that group. <laughs> so this is me fitting in. <laughs> about roasting Uday, I was thinking about how tough it was going to be. I mean, this guy, he wears it all out there in the open. What what, what can we do to him that hasn't been already been done? I mean, what is the chink in his armor? And that's when it hit me. Van is the chink in his armor. Holy shit. Jesus, Van, why did you let him win? Your judgment's more suspect than, fl than Flannery at the Democratic National Convention. <laughs> He took a lifetime of more or less, you know, decent decisions and shit all over there for what? Kick-ass Halloween costumes? The smell of curry and desperation in your home? <laughs> Speaking of curry, uh, yes. sue me, sweet. I know you're eating for two, but damn, one of them's still pretty tiny. <laughs> Too bad that um, all the buffoonery and the shenanigans that Uday's always up to is going to do more to unravel the model minority stereotype than anything you're ever going to do in your entire life. So right. So right. Um, anybody that knows Sumi knows what a sweetheart she really is. What? How, how kind and caring. And she has such great empathy for the pathetic and underprivileged, and this is never more evidence than in her choice of husbands. So. <laughs> And, and, and why was why is Uday so much darker and shorter than me? <laughs> I mean, back home, cute banjo music. Um, back home, we have a saying when uh, we see somebody of dubious origin, and we say, "Was there an African American gentleman in the woodpile?" But in your case, I'm going to have to ask, "Was there a tall, gawky, pale, hook-nosed Jew in the woodpile?" <laughs> Chanel's supposedly an actor, but he's mostly known for doing voiceovers for technical support hotlines and video games. He's, he's done quite a few video games, right, AJ? Uh, AJ? AJ's a big gamer, for those of you who don't know. I'm surprised to see that you're dating these days. I mean, it's, it's hard to meet girls when the only thing you get off your ass from playing video games to do is to put on your wizard robes and go to a Magic the Gathering meeting. <laughs> That's not really fair. He finally met a girl that obviously doesn't advertise in the LA Weekly. <laughs> Greg, I don't really know you, but in the words of the immortal Bonnie Python, I fart in your general direction. <laughs> I'm, 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 glad, I'm glad to see that you uh, stopped cutting yourself and listening to Hurt by Trent Reznor long enough to stop by Hot Topics and Splurge for a decent outfit. <laughs> O'Neill couldn't take time off from impregnating white women and not competing in Brazilian Jiu Jitsu with join us tonight. Yeah. <laughs> but, seriously, but seriously, all of us, all of us at Hollywood Brazilian Jiu Jitsu, we just love O'Neill. He's the Wayne Brady of our group. <laughs> he goofs off, he makes us laugh, and he poses no threat to anyone whatsoever. <laughs> he, he's an actor. Well, I mean, okay, yes, technically he is an actor. <laughs> But he's a bigger embarrassment to black people than Flavor Flav. <laughs> After his first television appearance, the Million Man March headed back to Tuskegee. <laughs> his, his part was as a gay black guy on the down low. Uh, spoiler alert, he actually nailed that role. <laughs> um, and I've actually been to see one of his plays. Let's just see, watching him act is like showering with Jerry Sandusky. It just leaves you feeling... It just, it, just, it just leaves you feeling dirty and you weep. And, 
And nobody's chewed up more scenery than that guy since Hurricane Sandy hit Broadway. It's a roast, people. <laughs> O'Neill's a self-proclaimed hipster. Really? He wanted to be white so bad, he picked the most uncool subculture of honkies and emulated them, hipsters. Why didn't he do something slightly less humiliating and join the clan? He's like Clayton, he's like Clayton Bixby, but with eyesight. <laughs> Andy Donovan's standing right over there. Andy is definitely the angriest white man I know. He's, he's just a little melanin and some purple drink short of getting left behind in a hurricane. <laughs> Ironically, he's one of the face men of HBJJ, him and O'Neill. Really? Flannery? What is this, some kind of springtime for Hitler business model? If you build it, it will fail? <laughs> we got Eddie. We got Eddie Sano here on the days. Eddie, you're Colombian? Yep. What European country were your folks fleeing from when they became Colombian? <laughs> Motherfucker, Juan Valdez is Colombian, and the closest you ever came to picking coffee beans was making your Mexican maid load the espresso machine to her Ivy League prep school. <laughs> <laughs> There's a couple people out here in the audience that aren't up on the days that are almost as depressing as the people on the days, like um, uh, Jose Pacheco. Where's Jose? <laughs> Jose, Jose likey the drinky, let me tell you. <laughs> His liver's got more holes in it than Seal's face. <laughs> we got Navy Seal Pat, or NSP as he's sometimes referred to. I don't even really know that guy's last name. <laughs> but uh, he joined the Navy uh, because Don't Ask, Don't Tell was a comfortable place for him to work through some issues. <laughs> Paul Schoen's out there. Paul Schoen, world champion. Yeah. Where's Paul at? Hey, there's Paul. Paul's a white Mexican Jew. <laughs> That's it. That's the joke. That's all I got. <laughs> Johnny Kowalski. Johnny once played the, the TV part of a loudmouth, Jersey Shore, muscle-headed douchebag. Wow, that's method acting for you right there. That, that is if by method you mean talentless hat just being himself. I'm losing my coolie, I'm sorry. Losing my coolie. Steve Bergnes is sitting over here. Oh, Steve. Steve's the Red Ranger. Apparently you really can milk anything. <laughs> Fuck hydrogen cells, they need to harness whatever keeps that engine running. <laughs> Flannery, Flannery couldn't make it tonight, but he's the most successful actor at HBJJ, but being that is, isn't really saying much. It's like being the guy at Comic-Con that got the most pussy. <laughs> <laughs> with his politics though with his politics though he fits in with the Hollywood set like his boy Hannity at a pro-choice rally Flannery, Flannery stayed faithful to his Irish roots by bombing America for the last 20 years with straight to video movies I actually Netflix Flannery recently and at the, at the end of that it's actually a pretty long list and at the end of it, it uh, Netflix suggested that if I like these movies maybe I'd like to punch myself in the face <laughs> And now to our guest of honor, two days. Yeah. 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 Oh. Boyo. Kantu <laughs> is one lonely lady and that she is proud of you, buddy. <laughs> I actually had a hard time coming up with things to try and humiliate you with. You have no self-esteem, no dignity, no shame. You don't even have the sense to know that things are best left undone and unsaid. We really shouldn't make fun of him today. He's actually got a disability. He's missing the filter between the parts of his brain where ideas come from and then where they become actions. <laughs> Whereas mine's clearly attacked. Um, but seriously, buddy, you're an idiot. You're immature. You're an awesome friend and a world-class grappler, and I hope you never change. You're the kind of friend everybody wants to have, and very few of us actually get a chance to get. It's an honor to call you a friend and training partner. Happy birthday, buddy. <laughs> Hello, everybody. Isn't he right?